Ulster football final is indeed a very, very special occasion. It's David versus Goliath. Let the games begin. Going straight through. He is through. Brilliant goal. Tyrone are Ulster champions for the 12th time in their history. The Ulster Championship for the last 10 years or so has been the most compelling and interesting of them all. Antrim qualified for the Ulster final this year for the first time in 39 years. Can they find their rhythm again for 2010? Or will Tyrone emerge as a powerful force both in Ulster and nationwide? Joining me now is Tom Daly, the President of the Ulster Council, and Hi. Danny Murphy, the Ulster Secretary. You're both very welcome here to Croke Park. Thank you very much. We begin with a preliminary round between the first two teams drawn. The third team pulled out, plays the winners of that preliminary, and after that, it's plain sailing, we hope. Nine counties are involved. Antrim, Armagh, Cavan, Derry, Donegal, Down, Fermanagh, Monaghan and Tyrone. So let's begin. Danny Murphy gives it a good spin. And uh, first out is a preliminary draw. And the first team out, Tom Daly of Donegal, will make the announcement. Derry. Damien Cassidy is the man in charge there. And Derry will play. Could it be possibly Tyrone? Will it be Armagh? Now that Paddy O'Rourke, a great down man, is in charge of Armagh. Derry against who in a preliminary? Ardwell. Oh, there you go. Derry against Armagh. Paddy O'Rourke, great down man, will be facing Derry. Tough draw for that Burren man. And the winners of this, Derry and Armagh, will play this team that Tom Daly will... When you can't. Mona. Seamus McEnany's team, now that uh, Paul Grimley, of course, is involved in the back room, makes it most interesting. So Derry against Armagh, the winners play Mona. Now we're into straight quarterfinals. And uh, Tom Daly will be anxious to see who Dun Donegal will be playing on a personal level, I'm sure. Antrim. Antrim. Liam Bradley. The Baker Bradley did a great job, didn't he, last season, bringing them to an Ulster final. Can they get there again? They have some very talented players. Michael McCann was an All-Star nominee. Now, it's Antrim against... Tyrone. Tyrone, Mickey Hart's team. They met in the uh, Ulster final. It's a repeat of the Ulster final of 2009. Danny Murphy is still waiting for Down to emerge. Down and Donegal. <laughs> Donegal and Down, he's predicting here. And there's Donegal. Well done, Donegal uh, very much in the uh, limelight now. Will it be Donegal against Down? Tom Daly nervously opening it up. And Down. <laughs> well done, lads. You can uh, go for a drink now and enjoy it and look forward to the Ulster Championship. Your two counties will be facing each other. And this is Cavan, Tommy Carr. Former down manager and footballer, and Cavan will be playing the last county out of the bowl for the Ulster Championship in 2010 is Fermanagh. Malachi O'Rourke in charge. Now there's the Ulster Championship draw. What a pre preliminary. Derry against Armagh, the winners play Monaghan, and then the other quarterfinals. Repeat of the Ulster final, Antrim against Tyrone, Donegal against Down, which should be a blockbuster, and Cavan against Fermanagh. Great Ulster Championship draw. Michael. Yeah, there's great laughing during the course of that draw, but I think a lot of counties won't be laughing uh, when they see the implications of all that Kevin Mike's day. First one out, Derry and Armagh. Oh, that is a real tasty fixture, there's no, no question. <laughs> I mean, there's just no easy route through it. It, it. it is a compelling and competitive championship, but at the same time, Tyrone and Armagh have, have tended to win all of them, you know, so you yeah, wonder. Yeah. But it is savagely competitive, there's no question. And uh, Armagh, it'll be very interesting to see now how they regroup. A bit unseemly all summer of their management. Paddy O'Rourke in charge now. But my God, he has some opener. And uh, should, they, should they advance, Monaghan are waiting, you know, so exactly. nothing easy there. Yeah, No, nothing easy there at all. Donegal and Down, of course, is the other one that catches the eye there. Yeah, uh, again, an interesting one because of the, the management. Uh, James McCartan is uh, having a shot at it now. And Down, Down's championship record in the last six, seven, eight years has been really, really poor. And Donegal's to a certain extent, something similar. So both teams have plenty to, plenty to get out of the championship.